Hello and welcome to our YouTube video about the connection between chronic kidney disease and anemia. Chronic kidney disease, or CKD, affects millions of people worldwide and can lead to a range of complications, including anemia. In this video, we will discuss what anemia is, how it is related to CKD, and what you can do to manage this condition. What is anemia? Firstly, let's define anemia. Anemia is a condition in which there are not enough red blood cells or hemoglobin in the blood. Hemoglobin is the protein in red blood cells that carries oxygen from the lungs to the rest of the body. Without enough hemoglobin, the body's tissues and organs may not receive enough oxygen, leading to symptoms like fatigue, weakness, and shortness of breath. How is anemia related to CKD? Now, let's discuss how anemia is related to CKD. The kidneys play an important role in the production of erythropoietin, a hormone that stimulates the bone marrow to produce red blood cells. In CKD, the kidneys become damaged and are unable to produce enough erythropoietin, leading to a decrease in red blood cell production and ultimately causing anemia. In addition to decreased erythropoietin production, CKD can also cause anemia through other mechanisms. For example, the kidneys are responsible for removing waste products from the blood. When the kidneys are not functioning properly, waste products can build up in the bloodstream, leading to inflammation and damage to red blood cells. This damage can also contribute to anemia. Symptoms of anemia in CKD The symptoms of anemia in CKD can vary from person to person, but some common signs include fatigue and weakness, shortness of breath, headaches and dizziness, pale skin, chest pain, irregular heartbeat, difficulty sleeping. If you are experiencing any of these symptoms, it is important to speak with your healthcare provider. If you need more information on CKD visit our website at www.kidneytree.com. Treatment for anemia in CKD. So, what can you do to manage anemia if you have CKD? T. The treatment for anemia in CKD usually involves a combination of lifestyle changes and medication. Diet. Eating a healthy, balanced diet that is rich in iron, vitamin B12, and folate can help improve anemia in CKD. Some foods that are high in these nutrients include leafy green vegetables, red meat, eggs, and fortified cereals. Iron supplements. Iron supplements may be prescribed by your healthcare provider to help increase your body's iron stores and improve red blood cell production. Erythropoietin Stimulating Agents Erythropoietin Stimulating Agents, or ESAs, are medications that stimulate the bone marrow to produce more red blood cells. These medications are typically given as injections and are often used in combination with iron supplements. Blood Transfusions in severe cases of anemia, blood transfusions may be necessary to quickly increase the number of red blood cells in the body. However, this is typically only done in emergency situations or in cases where other treatments have not been effective. Preventing anemia in CKD. Lastly, let's talk about some ways to prevent anemia in CKD. While CKD cannot always be prevented, there are some things you can do to help protect your kidneys and decrease your risk of developing anemia. Control your blood pressure and blood sugar levels. Quit smoking. Exercise regularly. Maintain a healthy weight. Limit your intake of alcohol and caffeine. By taking these steps, you can help reduce your risk of developing CKD and anemia. In conclusion, chronic kidney disease, CKD, and anemia have a complex and interrelated connection. CKD can cause anemia by reducing the production of erythropoietin, while anemia can worsen CKD by increasing the risk of cardiovascular disease and reducing oxygen delivery to tissues. Early detection and management of anemia can improve outcomes for individuals with CKD. If you or a loved one is suffering from chronic kidney disease and would like more information on the latest treatment and kidney health diet, Visit our website today.